Hey guys, Beard of Pop here. Amazing episode. Nine Funko Pop mystery boxes from Bands for Arms and a special gift from Whatnot. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. Hope everybody is having an amazing day. We have got an amazing episode for you today. Now, the first thing I want to say is remember, Saturday, October 3rd, 7 p.m. Eastern, we're going to have the live giveaway for the PS4. It is going to be amazing. We're going to have a giveaway for a PS4 as well as a Funko Pop mystery box made by me, BOP. So, guys, make sure to tune in. Have your uh, notification bells on to be notified when I post that live. Got to be there to win. So guys, we have got an amazing episode for you today. Want to tell everybody welcome back. And if you're new here, I hope to earn your subscription by the end of this video. So guys, I want to say thank you for all the subscribers, all the love. This has been absolutely amazing and we're going to keep it going. So guys, make sure down below to click subscribe. Click that notification bell with all post notifications on, as well as leave a comment below. We're going to be doing another giveaway this time for another Monday. So last Monday, we did hashtag the child for the gamer control knob child from uh, the new Star Wars uh, Mandalorian line, the GameStop exclusive. So I've got my phone here, and like I said, every Monday we'll do a drawing live get who the winner is. So we're going to get YouTube comments based upon the uh, hashtag the child. We have 313 unique comments and that's lit, uh, adding out the duplicate users and filtering on a specific text. And we're going to go ahead and pick our winner. So guys, the winner of last Monday's drawing is Bash2005. Dude, awesome supporter, always leaving comments, always in the lives. Super happy that you could win this, bro. Just hit me up on IG or via email, and we'll get you your prize. So thank you for participating. So everybody's wondering, what is this week's giveaway? Well, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to give away a 10-inch Funko Pop Minion, the Skating Stewart. So guys, down below, hashtag Stuart, and that's going to enter you to win the contest for next Monday's drawing. So remember, 10-inch Stuart roller skating, Funko Pop, to you guys. Hashtag Stuart down below, and you could be a winner as well. So guys, we've got an amazing episode. So the first thing that happened was a few weeks ago, John from Whatnot reached out to me and let me know that the guys over there really love the Funko community as well as really love my channel. They've been watchers and supporters for quite a while and they wanted to send something over to me to show their appreciation for everything I do. So I was like, sure. So they're like, can we have your seek list? Now guys, I put some pretty good stuff on this list. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be something pretty nice, but I have no clue. I'm going to grab this box right over here directly from Whatnot Inc. They sent it over to my P.O. box, and um, I'm appreciative. I've been doing a few auctions over there. Uh, this came about before the auctions on a separate thing, and I look forward to doing many things with you guys in the future and really appreciate you sending this stuff over. I'll definitely leave the link to uh, Whatnot below. Um, as well as my link that you can get and sign up. Um, I've got some great stuff up there and whatnot in a whole is fantastic. So thank you, John, and all the guys I've gotten to know from whatnot. I really appreciate the support for the channel and sending over a gift. So let's see the first thing. I got a card that says swag. Some swag to thank you for the content you create for us collectors. Well, thank you guys. I really appreciate that. I got a little uh, whatnot pin and a little whatnot bag. Let's see what's inside of here. Oh, there's all sorts of cool whatnot stuff. All right, first we got a really cool whatnot keychain. Check that out, guys. 
We got a Whatnot Coaster. Oh, we got a Whatnot Pin for the pin board. That's definitely going on the pin board. We also got some Whatnot Magnets. Check that out. That is sweet. And a Whatnot Sticker. This is awesome because I definitely want to add Whatnot to the sticker desk. Oh, these are nice. Yeah, it's their Whatnot W. I'm going to add it. Jew, getting full over here, guys. All right. So we've added Whatnot to the sticker desk. That's amazing. And we have this cool package wrapped in some Whatnot paper. Oh, guys. Let's see what we got. Boom. Ooh. <laughs> this is the Freddy Funko Ron English exclusive. I do not have this. And this is amazing. They knew I love Freddy Funkos. And I put some killer stuff on that list. And this is an amazing little guy. Check him out. That's the Toy Tokyo New York 2019. Limited to a thousand piece. Ron English, Freddy Funko. That is absolutely amazing. Well, guys at Whatnot, thank you so much and uh, for, for sending this over, guys. I don't know what to say. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate all of you. And uh, thank you for having such a great platform to buy and sell pops at, at a safe, very safely. I'm super appreciative of that. It's going to find a great place with my Freddy collection. That's one I definitely don't have. So, God, John, thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. All right. So, next, we got something I've been super excited about. Bands for Arms Mystery Boxes. Nick over there is a fantastic dude. He's in the movie industry. He's done amazing things. He does this out of the love of his heart. And he supports many charities with the proceeds. So when, uh, when all this happened and all the different things set in that caused hardship for all these companies, he started selling some boxes online, which is something he doesn't normally do. And he was selling them right and left to everybody, supporting him and supporting the amazing charities. So, of course, I was one who wanted to order them. Um, he, he's a one-man, he's a one-man, maybe two-man show, so... He kind of has dates on the boxes. I ended up getting a lot of boxes at once. I got nine of them in the mail the other day. I got this ginormous box right here. So I figure, why not? Let's dig in and open some amazing mystery boxes from an amazing company. I don't know how these are packed or what's in here. I do see a note on the side that tells me that there is a DC a blind box, an I can't wait box, a second blind box, a hunt for Freddy, two rotten apples, and two uh, clicks. So I, oh, so they're all in here and they're all labeled. And he likes to joke on some stuff and He's got some funny boxes in here. There's an awful lot in here, so we'll, uh, we'll try to get all these out of here. Wow, look at all these boxes he sent me. Well, thanks, brother. I appreciate all these amazing boxes. Now, I don't remember the stories to all these boxes or the details to these boxes, but uh, there's some pretty good boxes. So this is a uh, Hunt for Freddy box right here. We'll go ahead and start out with that. We'll try to sort these out. We got these Dr. Click boxes, which I don't remember the story of. We've got a couple rotten apples, which I remember one night he was going to his refrigerator and he wanted to get some applesauce and the applesauce had mold on it. He posted a picture on IG. And uh, that's where he ended up grabbing uh, that name from because he just pulls them out. This is an I Can't Wait box, a first blind box, a D. So we have first blind box, second blind box, a DC box, and a Hunt for Freddy box. 
So there is some amazing ones. So we will get this one and say, hello, my name is Dr. Click. And we will open this guy up and uh, see what we pulled out of here. All right. The first one we got is, boom. Oh, Miguel from Coco. That's an amazing pop. So amazing. I threw it at the camera. <laughs> I guess things happen, guys. So you saw Miguel from Coco. Miguel from Coco went flying. <laughs> we'll uh, open up the second Dr. Click right here. We'll see what we got in here, and hopefully we don't feel so amused by it that we throw it across the river. All right, so the next one we got is, oh, a toga from uh, My Hero Academia. That's a sweet one. That's from the, uh, the newer set, and a pretty cool one I don't think I have yet. So thank you, guys. I really appreciate that one. All right, so the next one, let's dig into this uh, blind box right here not sure i mean i don't remember i ordered a lot of them because we we're supporting a good cause a lot of my family's ex-military and retired military and um i love supporting military companies and especially people like uh nick so let's go ahead and open this next box and it is oh rapunzel from disney um, I definitely don't collect these, and um, I don't think I've ever uh, had this one before. You can see the rest. It uh, looks like the Disney princesses on the back. And uh, that's definitely a sweet pop. And I failed to mention, these are all in amazing condition. So we got this one here that is the second blind box. Let's go ahead and open it and see what we get out of it. And then, mind you, these boxes, I think, were like $12.50 each, and it was free shipping. So, you know, like four of them was like 50 bucks or something like that. So it was a pretty good deal. Boom. It is Dwight as Recyclops. That is the first one. That is the uh, shared exclusive sticker from 2020. Is that the second one or the first? It's a pretty cool one. There's been quite a few uh, Dwight as Recyclopses. And that's definitely a cool one to get with the con sticker. Really do like that one. Thank you guys very much. I don't know if I have that one in good shape because they've all been uh, damaged, especially when you get Walmart shipping. So the next one I got is called Hello, I Can't Wait. <laughs> Let's see. And these are some great value boxes because you know you're only paying like twelve fifty each for them. Boom! Fairy tale, Lucy. That's a cool pop. I don't know if I've ever seen that one. You could check out the rest of the set on the back. And that's a cool one to get. That's a Lucy from Fairy Tale. So definitely a great hit, guys. All right. So the next one we got is that story I told you about rotten apples, some rotten apple sauce. So these are some pretty cool boxes. And um, let's see what we get out of here. I know one of them had that Monsters 4-pack from Universal, which is something I'm trying to collect lately. So I was hoping to get that, but it doesn't look like anything's big enough to get that. But I got, boom! Oh, ho, ho, Freddy Krueger! Sweet! perfect for this time of year for Halloween. And this is a cool one because last night I was at Walgreens and uh, checking out if they got any of the exclusive pops. And they of course got Freddy and Jason and a few others that are Halloween themed. And I almost grabbed this one because I actually don't have this one. So I'm pretty happy I didn't grab it because now I just pulled it from Nick and Bands for Arms. So thanks dude. I really appreciate it. All right. So we've got another Rotten Apple box. Let's go with this DC box over here. Let's see what we got out of the DC box. What kind of superhero did we pull? Let's see. Boom. Oh, it's up from Wonder Woman. It's the Cheetah. That's definitely a cool one. This is not a line that I'm collecting. You can see the rest on the back there. 
but uh, definitely a cool one. And uh, something that you'll see up on my whatnot, or um, if you guys like it, just hit me up down below. And also remember for next Monday for the giveaway, we're giving away the 10 inch Stewart Minion. Just hashtag down below Stewart, and we'll do the drawing on next Monday's video live, guys. All right, so let's go back to this. We got this Hunt for Freddy box here. Hello, my name is Freddy. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. See what we got. Maybe we got a good Freddy. Maybe we got a Freddy I don't have. Boom. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. That is a great hit. That's a good value pop and a pop I do have. But this one we could go with out of box or something for. But that is a sweet pop. I love the back with the star on the Walk of Fame. This was to commemorate the opening of the uh, Funko Shop uh, Hollywood. And uh, this is a sweet Funko Hollywood exclusive. And definitely an awesome one to pull, especially out of a Freddy box. Love getting Freddy boxes. Now the last one we got here is the last one with rotten apples. So I hope... Whatever this one is, it definitely feels heavy. I do feel a sticker on it. Boom. Oh, it's Krampus. This is the Hot Topic exclusive Krampus. That's a pretty sweet one right there. Check that one out. Loving that one. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate that. I definitely didn't have this one, and I do have a few Krampuses, so I appreciate that. Wow. This is nine mystery boxes from Band for Arms. All the pops are in great condition. Got some great pulls for the value of the boxes and supported a great charity. It's been an amazing episode. I want to thank John and all the guys over at Whatnot for the amazing gift and the support of Beer to Pop and uh, Adam myself as the channel. Want to thank Nick from Bands for Arms and all the people who make it happen over there. Amazing people. You got to go check them out. I'll link everybody below. Thanks everybody for being here today and spending a little bit of your day with me. Remember the contest we're having for next Monday, 10-inch Stuart Minion. Hashtag Stuart down below and you could win. Guys, I hope by now I've earned your subscription. We've had a blast. But until next time, just like that, the video's over and Beard of Pops out.